Hi, welcome back to the channel. Well, I had a comment recently saying you really should do a build on the Rebler GTS, the uh, BMW X5, of course. Well, handily, I'd already done one, so I thought, why not show you the build I've already done? So this is it. So it's an X5M. It's inspired by one from 2022 that was shown on Reddit. Not all details of that car were shown, so I've looked at some other X5Ms and X5M competitions to get the parts that I need. And I'll show you some of that stuff as we go. I think this looks really, really good. You could, of course, build it in any colour you like. This colour is Manhattan Green, and it's a crew colour, but I say there's a lot of colours that suit this car that are available in the standard GTA palette as well. Ooh got to get used to the weight of something like that before you put the brakes on I guess. Now despite just understeering to the scenery I do quite like the way this drives. It's not a review but you feel the weight of it like you expect with an SUV. I suspect you feel the weight more than you do feel really on a real X5M but still I find it quite fun to drive. But we're not here to drive it we're here to build it so let's get it in let's get it built. So this is a bit of a one take video you probably guessed because I can get these out fairly quickly so apologies for any stumbling or whatever on the way. Armour, performance, bulletproof tyres all up to you. I do suggest at least an engine stage 4 and bulletproof tyres though. The bumpers on this car, at the front they have one called carbon twin wedges and the twin wedges, as you can see if I flick in and out, twin wedges is putting these bits in here and these bits here are quite redolent of the uh, fourth gen X5 which is what this car is heavily based on. This bit here is slightly wrong but it's not far off it's the closest we've got so carbon twin wedges. At the rear if you look at my other three options they put too much black on and I want this bit painted so stock. Uh, for the exhaust I want four round pipes for an X5M. Now I can go with shiny, titanium or aluminium to be honest, they should be black on most of the ones I looked at, so titanium would work really well. But I don't like the blue rings, so I've gone twin bore exhausts. Uh, for the fenders, these fenders here, of course, are a real signature of the car, painted in body colour, certainly on the one we're looking at. Primary wide fenders, I think it looks a bit better than stock fenders. If you think they're too wide, go for stock, but I like the wide ones. The grill, well of course no BMW or Ubermacht in the game has the kidney grills of course. But we can at least go black, we can at least have vertical stripes by going carbon roadster grill. The hood, stock, uh, very easy. All the other ones have either black bits or inlets or something on them. For the lights, well this is another car I must take to the Kami because I've got Xenons on from the old days and... As I've mentioned before, they're a bit too blue really for these days, and the car meet lights are superb. We're not having a livery mirrors. I wanted the uh, black mirrors, so the carbon mirrors on here work really well. Plate is up to you. Respray. Primary colour is a crew colour. The hex I will either put on the screen or down in the description. For the Palescent, I've gone with a Wood Beach Brown. Now, I think this is quite close to Manhattan Green, but I do think that Manhattan Green is even nicer than this, but this is the uh, the closest I've got for you. As I say, if you want inspiration, hit Google Images. You'll find this car in so many colours. There's also some gorgeous blues, and in fact, I have had it built in a lovely blue. I think it was the last garage tour, and if I'm right and I can find a clip, I will insert that here of the car in another colour for you to look at. Anyway, moving on, the secondary colour should be the crew colour. Now, unfortunately, I was messing before I filmed this and I accidentally hit a button and it's now uh, black, this thin strip here. If I try to paint it crew, the whole car will go my current crew colour of purple. So, just be aware that really this should be body colour, it should be crew colour or whatever your primary is trim colour, oh, I really wanted the uh, sort of dark brown, the saddle brown uh, interior, but we're basically stuck on black, so I could only have it on the stitching, so whatever colour you like really. Uh, stock roof is great with the panoramic sunroof, 
we don't want it in black or carbon. Skirts, these ridge line skirts get closest to the shape. The ridge is diagonal, we want the ridge all the way along, but they're good. For the spoiler, I think it's a bit bigger than on the real car, but competition spoiler is just like the one on the X5M competition and probably the X5M non-comp as well. This, this shape is very, very distinctive. If it's too much for you, you can always go with, um, sorry, with none on here to bring it smaller, but then you do miss that shape. So let's stay with the competition spoiler. Suspension, well, this car is already too low at stock. There's already there's a bit more wheel arch gap even uh, even on an X5M, so we'll just leave it stock. Vortex generators, they call it. I'm pretty sure they're for your mobile phone, actually, but uh, stock anyway. Wheels. The car came with more than one set of wheels. There's an awful lot you can do, but I took inspiration from the X5M comp wheels that I'm showing here. Uh, I went with the parallel spokes, but of course these are a lot more black and they do have split rim nuts. They're not ideal, but I think they work very well and uh, they are track wheels ice storm painted black uh, for the windows light smoke is about as far as you want to go these cars often have some tint to glass but even light is darker than the car would have but at least it disguises the fact I can't have the color upholstery I want just take it out again for another look in the sun the time now is 12 o'clock so this is a fairly uh, representative view of the colour I would say we don't have a, a low sun making orangey or anything yeah I think it looks good so there we go I'd like to know how you've built your uh, Rebel DTS if you have one I'd be very interested to hear that have you gone wild and custom or have you gone something more standard like this one any requests, of course, do leave them down below. I'm always open to more requests, although I do admit there's quite a lot of requests left still to do. Um, I haven't forgotten any of you, it's just time to get them done, which is why I'm doing some of these quick one-take videos. Anyway, please like if you liked, sub if you like real cars in GTA. But above all, thank you so much for watching.